Hello, this is part two of my tutorial on realistic gemstones in Blender. Uh, last time we made this here uh, gemstone. This is the uh, emerald cut. And we're going to be working with this today. Uh, this is going to be a more of a universal tutorial. You can use this on any gemstones. Um, we're going to work with the lighting first and the uh, material for this gemstone. And then maybe if I have some time, I'm going to try to hurry up and uh, maybe do some uh, occlusions and some imperfections in the stone itself. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is uh, we'll push 7 to go to the top view. We're going to add a plane. This is something for the gemstone to reflect off of. It's right in the center where our 3D cursor is. If your 3D cursor is somewhere else, you just push Shift S, cursor to center, and then you add your plane, and it'll be at the center. Push S to scale it and make it pretty large. That looks pretty good. Now I push 3 to go into side view and we lower the plane under the gemstone. Now gemstones don't naturally sit under points and like you know gravity but for this we will because we need to see the lighting and the shadowing and everything else okay so go to our materials here on the right just grab this add a new material uh, we'll take the specularity down we just want a white surface for it to reflect off of for now uh, you could add a shiny table or anything else you want to it later, but just for this demonstration, uh, we're going to right click on our gemstone, new material. Okay, uh, we're going to name this, since it's an emerald cut, we'll just go with the known colors for the gems. This is an emerald, so we'll call it emerald. Emerald material. And we're going down to the transparency section. We'll click this box here. And we're going to click over to Ray Trace. In Z Transparency, you use the alpha to denote the uh, transparency, but we're not going to use that. We're going to go to Ray Trace. And let's uh, make it so we can see these. And we're going to up the Fresnel until we can see through the uh, material. We want it pretty good. I'm going to say about, I'll give you a number here close. Remember, gemstones come in all various. Uh, translucencies they can be completely opaque to I mean crystal clear so we're gonna go about I'm gonna say 2.7 so let's just call it 2.7 even okay and this is the index of refraction here the IOR uh, every object that's translucent even objects that ain't completely transparent have an index of refraction to some point like human skin uh, and such but if you go over here I downloaded uh, off the Blender website the index of refraction for certain materials. And here we see emerald. It has a uh, index of refraction of 1.560. So we're going to enter that number in there. We're going to go 1.560. Okay. The filter is how much the, of the light that comes through the stone picks up its color. I like to start this off as 1.2. And the fall off. This is the. Uh, how much it loses the color afterwards I would say I'm not too sure about that one if I'm wrong correct me the limit is how much material it must pass through I believe before it picks up the color so I'm gonna make that about 1.5 uh, 1.3 to start you can always change it later and we'll take the depth up to about 5 okay and let's go down to mirror here mirror the gemstones do reflect so we're going to take the reflectivity to start. We can always add more again. 1.3 to start. Go up here and look at it. It's a little too reflective. So let's take it down to 1.2. Um, you might want high reflectivity, but if you have too much, you just it looks weird. Um, some might disagree, I guess. Uh, go just to five on the death. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's go down to the subsurface scattering. Now that we have our subsurface, our index of refraction for the emerald, which is 1.560. So we're going to go in and add 1.560 again. Okay. Looks good. So we go all the way back up and we'll open our diffuse and specular. We'll take the diffuse color and we want it to be emerald colored. 
So I'll go green. It's a really bright green. Well, the computer's a little slow because of the recording, so it takes it a minute. Alright, it goes. Make it a little darker. Takes a minute to update it. There we go. Now if you need to reduce the transparency a bit for more color, you can do so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much set up for time being. So now we need an object that we're going to be casting the shadow onto to inherit the transparent shadow. Because you don't want an opaque shadow from a clear gem. It just doesn't work. So we're going to go down to the shadow and click Receive, tra Receive Transparent Shadow. And well, that, that's, that's on. It should start now picking up our filtered colored light. I don't have a light set up yet, so let's set one up now. I have the basic default light, which is somewhere out here in the scene. Okay, we're going to add a lamp. Let's go to a spotlight. Go to side view, push uh, 3, G to grab. We'll manually move it over here with your mouse. Left click. Hit R to rotate. Rotate it towards the gemstone. Push left. Or uh, 1 to go to front view. Looks pretty good. It's aiming right at the gemstone. That's pretty good. And the camera. Let's set the camera to look at it from a, an angle. Right about here. So go here, hit view, align camera to view. I don't have a camera set up, so let's add one. Add camera. Okay, camera's in the center. I don't know why my camera was not in the view. I must have deleted it on accident. That's a little inconvenient. And I don't think it's set to my default camera. So I'm going to have to hit, I think it was Control Zero. Uh, Control Alt Zero. So it should be set to the default camera. Uh, camera one. Perspective, orthographic. All right. So let's see if we can line this camera up to view now. Uh oh. I never had this problem before, so I'm gonna have to work it up. There we go. That's what you want to do there. Click uh, View, Cameras, Set Active ca Object as Camera. So now, push 3, go back to our side view, zoom out so we can see our scene. Move back in, get that angle we want. Just hit, click your middle mouse button and scroll around until you get the view you want. I'm on uh, trackball mode, align camera to selected view. We're going to click. It's going to take a second to render because I have my recorder on. And what we'll see, we should start seeing, is the gemstone rendering. Ah. We seem to have a slight problem. It's uh, green, but it's a little too... Uh, yeah, a little too opaque. Something's not correct here, so we go to Ray Shadow on the light. Click Ray Shadow. And that should fix it, I believe. Yes, that, that fixed it. Zoom in a little bit until I get the actual size. There it is. That's the actual size. Okay, it's a real pale emerald. But like I said, we can up the color and fix this. So what we'll do is push Escape. Go from our Lightings tab. We'll right-click on the gemstone. And what we'll do is go down to our Transparency Fresnel. And take it down just a bit. And just keep lowering it, adjusting your settings until you get the look you need. It's a little better. All right. Try it one more time. Yeah, 
and it's uh, so it renders a little slowly, but my uh, screen capture kind of slows it down a bit. It doesn't usually take this long. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good. It's a little better. Okay. Yeah. And then my lighting's not set up real correct or anything, but that's basically how you get the general lighting effect. It just, you have to adjust it a bit until you get how you like it. Uh, I'm going to stop the tutorial here. That's how you do the general lighting. Make sure you go to Blender.org and find the uh, index of refraction list, or you can find them anywhere on the internet. And we will continue next time. Uh, adjust your colors until you get to the tone you like. This is pretty good for what I'm going to show you. So, uh, thanks for watching.